Welcome to a Thrumbles video review. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to a Thrumbles video review. Today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy United Energon Universe Megatron. He is actually quite, quite nice. Um, let's quickly take a look at the package. Let's move the backdrop back a little. And we're going to take a look at the box real quick. And he's got a tiny little box he comes in. The... I still can't stop seeing the duck. The mighty duck jet. Still can't stop seeing that. I mean... Mm -hmm. Anywho, that's pretty much the box. Tiny artwork, tiny, tiny stuff. Yeah, anyways, enough of that. This figure is actually quite nice. I do like him. Let's move upward. This way we can take a look at the details. That head sculpt is pretty spot on. Yeah, quite, quite nice. Got that lime green going on over here. Got a lot of hollow backpack going on on legs, but you know, transformation and all that fun stuff. Let's see, let's go over articulation. He has a swivel for 360 with a hollow head. Oh, hate hollow heads. That's just me. Um, his arms go, yeah, that's about it. But he's got 360 there, he has Ball jointed elbow for his rotation and his bend. Nothing at the hands, nothing at the waist. Ball jointed hips for full kick that way, partial kick that way, junk in the trunk, cat hair not included. Uh, let's see, outward movement about yay far. He has a cat hair not included, sorry. He has a deep knee bend. He has a very non-existent forward on his toes, but a little bit on the downside, but it's a big ol' heel spur. Big ol' heels. Um, the wings can go backward and forward, all depending on how you want to do it. They're kind of soft detented. Let's take a look at his accessories. First of these two are these neon lemon candy, don't eat these guns, they are blast effect compatible on both ends apparently <laughs> but it's the three millimeter uh, peg instead of the five millimeter so he can keep you bang bang that way they can be shoulder mounted thusly and there's a pair of these things so they can be shoulder mounted just like his actual character was in the show and yeah thoughtfully they actually put a secondary peg so they can flip downward for his hyper attack in robot mode. A few some shoulder pew pew and bang banging. And what would be Megatron without a fusion cannon? <laughs> I use that term fusion cannon very loosely. We'll quickly take a look at the details. You stunned, because it's normal. It's all in black plastic. The details are fair. Absolutely amazing. It is the former dead tank mode of his previous character. Uh-huh. Cynical enough to carry his own dead carcass around. Hollow bottom with a sword on the other end. I do like how the other toy works with the whole sword gimmick, but we'll get into that again later review. So he's got his cannon mode, just like that. Rotate it around. Now he's got sword mode. Woo! Sword mode! But, as you saw, these little pegs are very short, so they fall out rather easily. Great little poseable figure for its size. But again, it's no rat trap with, like, all the ball joints. Like, they wasted their budget on ball joints with rat trap, hands down. <laughs> very good in the poses that he can do. Now let's move on up for transformation. 
for transformation, I'm going to remove said tank dead carcass and take off these two guns because they will fall off all the time. And for this Megatron, it is relatively easy. I'm going to rotate his head 180 and bring up the backpack nacelle or fuselage or cockpit section, whatever you want to call it. Keep his arms straight like that. Rotate the arms around and then rotate the arms again 180 bring them up and bring them like so now what we're going to do is rotate the legs 90 degrees so the knee is this way fold in the foot and bring up the leg this way and then you've got this piece right here that is a tab and a heel spur that goes into a port right there. We're just going to boop and straighten that out. And do the same on the other side. And I missed a step. <laughs> Boy, my genius. Luckily, it's easy. Rotate it. Because <clears throat> you were supposed to do that beforehand. Then bring the arms back up. Luckily, he's easy to transform. He's a quick and simple bot. And plug it in, plug it in. Keep everything in frame because, you know, that's, that's the job. Not that I get paid for this. All right. Now, what I like to do is take the arms and angle them slightly back. Because he doesn't really hide his fists all that great. Bring down the little flappy wings. To sort of like that angle, and now you have duck, mighty duck, flying duck. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take these guns. I like to make that little handle on the bottom stay down that way. Same with the other one. Put that down that way for aesthetics, and then take dead self. Now you have these two slots right here, here, and here, and two tabs here and here. That's going to go, but boom, just like that. Now you have Swooshy Duck with guns. Quack, quack. Bang, bang. Quack, quack. Bang, bang. Anywho, <laughs> it is an actual quite nice representation. I mean, it's missing some of the details. We have Core Class Thundercracker from Earthrise. They look really good together, strangely enough. I mean, Cybertronian Boss, Energon. Cybertronian boss and regular Seeker Jet. But they still look good together, size wise. Now, before someone actually points it out, if you come in here, there was a tab that was right there that I had nipped off because that plugged into his arms and it plagued his posability. I just cut it right off because it doesn't need to be there. It doesn't hamper vehicle mode. It doesn't hamper any with the transformation. Showing him with his dad. Yeah. How much smaller this core class is to a mega class Energon Transformer. I mean, dwarfs. And the paint in the cockpit is a little off. Like this is supposed to be all blue. That's, that's where I'm getting more duck from. This one, not so much. Overall thoughts, do you need one in your collection? Meh. If you're completing the core class figures, sure. Go for it, because they're stopping core class, I guess. Um, maybe they're going to start doing these as pack-ins with other figures to bump the price. Yeah. So that's my look at Transformers Legacy United Energon Universe Megadron. Remember, stay happy, stay healthy, Love each other. Love your faces. Peace.